Hello and welcome to jQuery 4 Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and in this episode we're going to be looking at the Q and DQ API methods. Now what I've got here is um, a bit of prepared JavaScript and HTML where when I click on this button this box is going to animate all over the place. It's utterly contrived as you can see. Uh, the heights are going all over the place and when I click on it you can just see what it does. What I'm going to show you is how Q and DQ can kind of insert in between um, animation, the animation Q. So the first thing I'm going to show you is, is the, the two together. So Q, what Q does is it adds, um, so, so where dot animate adds this animation run into the, the Q of effects. You chain on another dot animate, it, it queues that on. We're just queuing on a um, utterly bespoke function. So this will be title dot html. Um, we're in the animation. I'll show you that with just the queue. And what it will do is animate up to this point, run this slice on uh, off the queue as well, but it will stop. Okay, and that's because when you queue something on a, ma a manual step, you need to dequeue it back off, and this tells it to continue from this this step onto the next. Okay, so that's that's basically Q and DQ. Um, the, the 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 actual arguments for Q and DQ are um, name and then function. So the default is FX, which all these animations go on to. So um, we're just making use of it like that. So I can also do things like um, set interval. And I can do um, counter is just a, a div, uh, sorry, a span at the end of the h1 here. Um, animations to go. And I can find out the length of the queue that's left on the other uh, box. So I can do box dot queue dot length. Again, by default, this is the FX queue, so this should work. It says none to go. Okay, I mean it's 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 pretty straightforward. It's useful for kind of inserting your own custom uh, like steps into an animation, and <clears throat> like here we're adding uh, just text, but you could be adding classes or changing something or giving a status notice. You can also do things like um, you can create a little pause plugin. So if I wanted to pause the effect for a few seconds, um, let's just create a little uh, jQuery plugin here. Pause. And n will be the number of seconds we want to pause for. And because it's a plugin, we're returning this. I'm going to do this dot q function. And instead of returning this dot dq, which would Tell the um, tell the animation to carry on. What I can do is set timeout, store a copy of the uh, the element, and just do. In fact, I can do it up here actually. No, 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 no. Sorry, call me. Um, store a copy of the element here. And I can do return. L dot D key for n milliseconds. So what I've written here is this pause plugin that queues on a new uh, slice onto the animation, and after n number of milliseconds, it will dequeue. So it'll pause for an uh, amount of time. So let's do dot pause and five thousand, which is five seconds. Let's have a look at how that works. I 
and there you go. So let's make it a little bit shorter so you can see it. But there we've created a, a just a, a simple pause plugin using the Q and DQ. Okay, um, it was as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed the the screencast. Um, the the next screencast will be on um, replicating an effect in the iPhone, which I don't believe has been done yet, but we'll have a look. Um, any comments or questions, post them up on the website jgroup designerscom Thanks for watching.